Well, this next video is really the tale of two stories. Um, the first being the music and the song. The song I wrote with the artist Sam Salace um, when I was living and DJing in Vauxhall and I had a flat next door to Fire Nightclub. <laughs> And in fact, the uh, the fire exit to the flat went into the beer garden at Fire Nightclub. And um, oh my God, crazy stories from that time. Um, and most of it was good, actually. I had a really, really good time living there for a few years. And um, I really enjoyed DJing at Fire and all the clubs, you know, Beyond and Onyx and Orange and AM and everything. And I really, really enjoyed that period in my life. It was fantastic, fantastic, fun time. And I was very creative during that time as well because James had just moved the studio to uh, to the Sharp Boys studio and we work in Sharp Boys like, up in um, Streatham Hill and um, I was getting to songwrite and, and record with lots and lots of different top artists but I would say probably my best success story regarding an artist was this next lady, um, Sam Salace and she really was a success story for me because I used to host all of the uh, talent shows on the gay scene way before X Factor and Britain's Got Talent. We had, um, first of all, we had Sing With Pride down in Brighton that I put together with the uh, Delicious Records and uh, we we did it at, at Legends and, and Queen's Arms and all these places and brought the venues together and then the winner would win a chance to do a single with us in the studio and also get a chance to perform at Brighton Pride and we did that a few years actually and I used to host it and get all the celebrity judges down absolutely brilliant and um, and then when I moved back to London I brought the talent shows back to London with me and first of all I used to do Egos uh, and 286 and this lady was a local and she used to come and sing at the talent shows and my god she blew us away i mean she was she was leaps and bounds above the second and third place each time she used to walk it hands down because her voice was incredible and her stage present her look she was cool as a cucumber and I was very impressed at her and she won I think two or three of my talent shows and then then I did um, scene star superstar where I linked I was the first ever I was the first ever person to link well numerous venues in London all the gay venues I had them all working together and I would do heats every week in uh, in five or six venues and then the finals were an area in, in Vauxhall and I actually had Sam as one of my judges along with the Sharp Boys and all the celebrities from the gay scene and um, anyway Sam, Sam was a great judge in the end and she also well she won actually a chance to record with Club Kids and then she won a chance to record with the Sharp Boys, um, all in my talent shows. And so we did numerous songs with Sam. We had um, numerous big remixes out with Almighty Records. We did Almighty Girls with her. We did Club Kids featuring Sam Salace. We did Sharp Boys featuring Sam Salace. And we did the song that you're about to hear um, that Sam and me actually wrote. James had done a backing track with the Hoxton Whores and they was uh, riding high in the top 10 at the time with some of their tracks and but they weren't songwriters they they did the uh, the, the backing tracks but um, Sam and me wrote the lyrics and the melody and this is an incredible song called Vicious Fever and um, it's one of the uh, only house darker house songs that I that I wrote and um, Sam was amazing to work with she came over to the flat in Vauxhall and we had the backing track from James and we sat there and did the, the lyrics and it was mental in that flat <laughs> I don't know how we wrote a song in that flat because I was forever having chill outs and parties and stuff. But this song is probably one of the darkest songs that I've had a part in because I usually do fluffy, light pop. And um, when I was looking for a song to, to do my police video to, to express how I feel about the corruption in the UK police, and in fact in the police internationally, um, this song sprung to mind as the police can be quite vicious as if they are maybe possessed <laughs> working for him downstairs so look the song is Hoxton Whores featuring Sam Salace the song that Sam and me wrote Vicious Fever please, 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 please. 
Well, you got him down, man. Let him breathe, please, man. I've been trying to hear about it.